<laughs> Speaking yeah. of prejudice in high places, bro, mm. let's talk about Virginia. Oh, and there in another episode of These Crackers is Wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These Crackers is Wild. Well, oh, sorry, I wish we could have said that before the Liam Neeson shit. He's included this episode. If you talk about the story, you could more say like These Crackers was Wild. There you go, defending them. I'm not defending. I'm specifying the details, crackers, nigga. These crackers be was, is, and will forever Oh, no, no, no. My bad. No, no. You're right. No, no. Nigga. There is Wallace. So, do you know who <laughs> Ralph Northam is? Do you know who Ralph Northam is? Anybody? Ralph who? Northam. I think I said his name correctly. No. He's the governor of Virginia. <laughs> okay. And and in his medical <laughs> in his medical school yearbook, Oh, yeah. There's a picture of him in blackface. It's my next to him dressed in a KKK uniform. Right. And he's swearing up and down, left and right, that that's not him. Uh, but mm. he did admit mm. that he entered a dance contest in the 80s mm. as Michael Jackson, mm. but and he darkened his skin mm. to look more like Michael Jackson. Okay. So First of all, semantics. Okay. Second of all, wait, wait, no. Let me show you how out of touch these crackers are. Mm. So... Because um, when they're when they're having these press conferences, they don't ask them the hard hitting questions like they're supposed to. Mm. One of the man said, "Oh, you said you were in a dance contest." He's like, "Yes." He's like, "Can you still moonwalk?" <laughs> this cracker, Rob Northern, he looked around as if he was looking for space to moonwalk, <laughs> and he was about to say something. His wife was like, "His wife was like, um, because uh, you know he was, he was like unfortunate circumstances." <laughs> and then he smiled and looked at the, uh, uh, looked back that? at the people like, "Oh, my wife said." Um, he about the fucking moonwalk on stage if his wife wasn't there. She see that. He was looking for space, <laughs> and his wife was like, "I married this idiot." <laughs> you know she, what I'm saying? She see that tired ass moonwalk every Thanksgiving. Every fucking Thanksgiving. She's like, "Don't do that." that every contest, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know what so, I'm saying? So, all right. Like, I, I feel like so out of, uh, I feel like I feel like everybody's ignoring the bigger picture, which is. Why the fuck mm. is there a picture of a nigga in a KKK uniform and blackface in a medical school yearbook? You're absolutely right. <laughs> Still. You know what I'm saying? Still. That everybody talking about this one nigga. Why were you in this picture? Why does that picture exist? exist. Why, You're talking true. about Why a whole it, institution, true. dog. Mm-hmm. Oh, so how, how many people look past that, bro? That's see, that's and that's because, a medical school, bro. That's because it was so comfortable, so regular back it's then. It's regular back then. That's the bigger picture, dog. They they trying to look at it like look at your cold culture, dog. That was in a yearbook. Somebody published that. Yes, yeah, so somebody the editor looked at that. And said, this it's is cool. cool. Somebody grown skimmed through that and said, "All right," and and then to make it worse, the attorney general admitted he did blackface. He saw all that pressure. was like, okay, I can't Bro, lie to them. What they doing? Dog, <laughs> you know they they covering the bases, dog. Like before the picture come out, I'm gonna just let you know. <laughs> the '60s were wild, but bro, like, <laughs> but that that goes to show you. That fuck imp- you, Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> fuck him too. Bitch, uh, he's a definitely one. Oh, oh. back then, how did I? Sorry, before we continue, duh. <laughs> if I say fuck that nigga, like they they'll bleep that fuck on HBO. But anyway, but but hold on, hold on. Bef- before, no, no, go ahead, go ahead. Before go ahead. I get there, bro. Before you get there, rather. Nah, that well, showed the importance, <laughs> importance of representation okay. in government, mm-hmm. dog. Absolutely, absolutely. So when you, when you talk about, oh, why is it important for us to let black people, why? Because w- these niggas didn't grow up where it was okay to have blackface in KKK in high school, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That it was you a come joke in, to them. It's a joke. Right. So you come in from that, and then you can claim you understand me to where you can govern that what you know affects my Fuck life. No. Fuck That's no, crazy. dog. Get Fuck these, no. So get all these crackers out of the office, bro. If you want mm-hmm. to get some new bloods, cause they you know they ain't like the old heads. We need to let the old heads die out. But get yeah. some new heads and get some colorful people mm-hmm. in, in in places of government. And, and then when you do get the colorful people. Mm. Don't get the panderers. Don't get the people that got to shuck and jive mm. and talk about hip hop and Beyonce and hot sauce you, and they nah, first but this, all see, the bro, fucking time. There's gonna be a hard fine line. We need with that, tangibles. Man, you know they're gonna hire their ass because. Oh no, no, what? of course. If it's not a cracker, bro, it's the closest thing to it. Bro, being a black <laughs> conservative is a business, dog. Yeah, yeah these absolutely. niggas out there trying to get shows. Yeah, yeah. Yep. absolutely. Like I, big time. Corey, you heard about Cory Booker, who's running for president? Yes. That he he looks like. If um if like you stuck a white person's face in dirt or something, that's how close to white. He's very light skinned. Uh, but I'm not that, I'm not condemning him for that. 
I'm not condemned, but I'm just saying he's very <laughs> fair skinned. So he's yo, very fair skinned. So they took a W I'm and dipped con- him in butter. And him butter. Slightly just <laughs> boop. <laughs> butter with some canola oil in it. And put him in a microwave for like 15 <laughs> seconds. Put him to get like almondy, a little toasty. Oh, it's like cinnamon butter, you mean? Yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. So he was on he was on the <laughs> breakfast, he was on the breakfast club, right? And I have a love hate. <laughs> <laughs> I have a love hate relationship with Charlemagne because sometimes he's annoying. Mm-hmm. He's also a Cowboys fan. Shout out Cowboys Nation. <laughs> and um, but sometimes he asks some real questions because you know he, you know, he's for the people. He, with ask he asks them, you know, since you're a black person, you're gonna elect it. Are you gonna? Do you have an agenda to further black people? And tell me why Cory Brooker sounded like he was choking on the food. Talk about well, uh, Charlemagne, uh, <clears throat> you know. Uh, I, I'm, I'm for all people. Da, da, da. I'm like, kiss my ass. Uh, yeah, you're not getting my see, vote, nigga. You see, the problem here. is, you're not getting. The problem <laughs> is, niggas got to play the game, and we got to get rid of the game entirely. Yes, it's like mm. where, where you got to get in is you got to play the game, and when you play the game, it's like you're not, you're not as useful as as you want to be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's like you make you make influence little at a time, and and salute to you for that, because mm-hmm. that has brought us a long way, and and and, and you know improved a lot of lives, but. You know, it, it needs to be at a faster pace, man. Yeah. Need to happen. And it all started with Obama, too. Mm-hmm. Like, do, do y'all watch Trigger Warning? Uh, no. Killer Mike? I still have Fantastic. I I'm finished still, it. I'm still binging That Game shit of Thrones, is fantastic. Yeah. And he mentioned how, technically, we never had a, a black president. We had a mulatto mixed president. Yeah, that yeah, is true. And that is the closest. You will never see a nigga that look like Shabba Ranks or Buja Bonton <laughs> in the office. Nope. It's only going to be niggas that look like Shaggy and Sean Paul. And it's unfortunate. Well, because they, and it's always a, the straight cut. Yeah, it's a straight cut. Mm-hmm. And, oh, Obama loves basketball and this and that. And Obama, Obama. Well, what does that have to do with politics? I'm Tell both. me what are you going to do to further me and better me and my people. I don't give a fuck if you can shoot a three. I don't give a fuck if you have hot sauce in your back. I'm, I don't care what music I'm you broke. listen to. And, and Obama, your music choice is not going to be on the ballot. You the, understand that? The, and Obama had to be impeccable, Sorry. bro. Impe- yes, impeccable. That, that's what makes even worse. No, if he grabbed, he's what they wanted, and then he had to do more, bro. If he grabbed a good booty in the eighties, bro, they would have came Lord. out and they would have. They condemned him for they smoking tried to sabotage cigarettes. Him with he used to smoke squares him with that Word. when he lived in Hawaii or whatever. No, didn't they? Got, they had pictures of him smoking weed. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. We and they tried, to, yeah. they tried to sabotage him with that shit. They were like, man, shut the fuck up. Word. It almost <laughs> could have worked. Everybody smoked weed in college. Word. It could have worked if the president before wasn't on <laughs> crack. Well, yeah, yeah might have. I'm sorry, George cocaine. Bush, Let me get this. George, George Bush, Bush was, was literally on coke. On cocaine. Literally yeah. on coke. He's yeah, a go to snipped it off, snipped it off the fucking oval. Off the they would have trust me if it wasn't for that. They uh-huh. would have leaned in for the for the. Oh, absolutely! Thing. Oh, absolutely! And the thing is, you can't even say he did an oval office. And then they the say president before that was getting his dick sucked in the oval office. So exactly. Fuck it. Word. Yeah, I'm con- not by his wife, bro. Exactly. Bro, that's probably true for. Eighty percent of the presidents, unfortunately. No, no, no man. All them got Once again, conspiracy theorists. Mm-hmm. I hope they change really that be- rug every president. <laughs> <laughs> For that real. shit got so much fucking. Ah, this shit all- smell like Clinton. <laughs> all cl- all- you know what Clinton smell like? All cl- all- Clinton, child, you know I smell. No, Clinton, Clinton smell like smell saxophones like- and oral sex. That's uh, what Clinton smell like. like fucking brass and fucking <laughs> brass, brass and, and cum. <laughs> oh, all all types gross. of you niggas that this guy's like, All types of brass ghosts and nuts that. busted past. And, <laughs> and, and let's not talk about Captain Spray Tan that's in there now. Over office probably rank to oh, bumba. Nah, that should probably smell like shit. Word. Oh my god, literally. <laughs> you know, you know, like some actually he ain't there, like so he probably smell. Fine. He looked like one of the niggas smell whatever. like lunch meat. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like one of the He looked like if I touch him, he'd be slimy. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, I gotta go wash my hands now. So, yeah. oh, speaking speak of Trump. He looked like he gotta change the white, his under white shirt like t- every five minutes. Yeah, that shit. He looks like all oh, his <laughs> undershirts got the yellow stains Word. on him. You gotta walk around yeah. like this. <laughs> Melania, please. Another shirt. <laughs> yo, he, Spe- speaking he, of yo, Melania, hold on, hold on. Donald Trump, the type of nigga <laughs> to walk around the house with his undershirt and no underwear on. Oh, no. <laughs> the type oh, nigga, oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga, oh my god! That nigga look like a skin turkey. He, 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 the type of nigga, he the type of nigga to walk to the front of the line. Put his hips up. He ain't in line. Stand around. Turn around. Mm-hmm. Turn back around and say, "Honey, 
I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only man over 70 that he's I lost it. I was going too far morning. down that rabbit hole. Man. But <laughs> speak, um, speaking of Trump, and not only um, not only did they attack Obama, Bro, they, but they attacked Michelle. Oh, yeah. Now, um, uh, when he first got elected president, um, what, Michelle was wearing something where her arms were exposed. Mm. I'm going to repeat that. <laughs> <right>. <laughs> mm. Her arms. <laughs> Not her breasts, <laughs> not even her cleavage, not her yeah, ass, yeah. not her legs, mm. nothing of her arms. And these crackers were, no pun intended, up in arms about it. <laughs> Fast forward to right now. Okay. I see what you did. It's damn near Donald boy, Trump's oh wife, who is the first lady, Melania Trump, still to this day, I saw it a couple days ago, has nude pictures out. Mm. Has pictures where she's in GQ. I just saw a picture of GQ. She was on a private jet. With like a gold gun in her hand, like a a, br- a briefcase full of money, mm. half naked. Mm. Our first lady. Word. That's our first lady. Word. But you're complaining about Michelle Obama having her fucking arms out. Word. Not to not to shame anybody who might you know take nudie photos for for money. No, no, we're not shaming you. But but, I'm, but just to make the comparison, contrast. you're right. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Ooh, boobies. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> There's boobies in that one. But, <laughs> but once again, conspiracy theories might like, I don't even think the president matters, dog. Honestly, it's other crackers high up that are controlling this shit, but that's too deep for y'all. Bro, what I... And then the reptilian? No, I'm kidding. No, nah, this nigga I is, don't believe in that. This nigga is a, about the reptilian. I don't believe in the reptilian. This nigga is literally... Uh, not enough hard evidence for that. This nigga is literally a weapon, dog. Yeah, he, he's, like, he's a weapon just, for destruction and uh, segregation and separation uh, and hate Russia and fear-mongering. Wep- Russia weaponized... Am, Amer- am I missing anything? Re- re- fuckery, yes. And fuckery, yeah. And fuckery. Fuck- That's definitely TPS fuckery and fuckery. Fuckery. All of that. You know what I'm saying? They let, they let Russia weaponize America's racism and shit, mm-hmm. bro. But, bro. But the thing is, as, as crazy as it sounds, um, I, I've seen people say it all the time, and it's the truth. One thing I do commend Trump for is exposing these crackers to other people like we knew already mm. yeah. we already knew how these crackers were mm. but, but now we mm. know exactly they came out what in they droves doing. Yeah. oh yeah and then people's like oh people in america are like this yeah. ding 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 Word. yeah <laughs> people didn't think it was as bad we thought we didn't knew this that's, that's the danger of this false progress dog yeah. Yeah. Mm. america ain't made no progress dog for the no. last 40 50 years they made no mm. pro- it just became more covert everything yeah. you yeah. know it's like oh we it's we can't do this anymore and it all, you, you can see it in the code, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know, speaking, like, they, they, you're mad because you can't be a, a, a creep or a rapist or a molester word. anymore. That's wild to me. Where these PC snowflakes, that means I, can, I can't be racist and misogynistic and. Let me be hateful in peace. You know what I'm <laughs> And ignorant. I can't. I can't say ignorant shit, no. Right, bro. Because that's all they know. Mm. You're taking away the only thing I know? Fuck you. Word. That's what their mentality is, dog. Word. And, and they, that's one thing, like I they, said. They cry over being silenced, dog. Like, they're like, oh, I can't say this, I can't say that. But be critical of their US of A, bro. And they're like, you're, you're a goddamn. You're disrespecting the flag. You you must be one of them goddamn Muslims. You don't like America. 